Today we're pouring bronze and I'm gonna be using this water-based green sand um, to cast just some small ingots here. These are just uh, little pieces of wood. They've got a slight draft angle on them uh, to help them uh, get pulled out of the mold. I also um, have a little bit of the screw, um, a little bit of some threads to, to help me extract it as well. This is just a can of chicken uh, where I cut off the top and the bottom and I'm going to be using this sort of like a cope or a drag, um, except I'm making an open-faced mold. I'm going to start off by trying to get some of the finer stuff in there. Um, so just sort of sifting it in with my hand. So I'll just keep filling it um, until I get about halfway up and then I'm going to compact it down. I'll just compact this first layer a little bit. Um, and then I'll throw some more on top to level it off. I'm trying to start off as gently as possible because um, I don't want my my uh, ingots to shift around. Um, once it's a little bit more compact, they'll be um, a little more set. And fed. Now I'll take it to the top. And now that it's all packed down, uh, just getting rid of all the excess here on top. And now it's nice and flat. Now let's see what we've got underneath. Good stuff, don't wanna waste any of that. Now the taper should help get these out along with this little hole. This seems to be working well. It's looking nice and clean. Here we go, five ingots. So these are all at different compositions. Uh, first one right here, this is 5% um, nickel, 5% tin, uh, the rest copper. Uh, this one's 10% nickel, 10% tin, 10% zinc. Um, again, the rest is copper. This one over here is 10% nickel, 40% zinc, um, and 2% lead. Again, the rest copper. This one that's spilled a little bit is 20% uh, nickel, 20% zinc. Again, rest copper. And this is aluminum bronze, 7.5% uh, aluminum. Um, and copper and you can see that this one was a lot higher than the rest. I think it's probably because the aluminum um, it, it isn't very dense and so it takes up a lot of space more than the others do. We'll start here with the aluminum bronze. Um, that looks pretty good. Of course in order to really see the color I'll have to um, polish it up a little bit um, but yeah I'll, I'll get these cleaned up. And this one Go look at the color underneath. And I'm really liking that color. This is the 5% nickel, 5% tin. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be one of my favorites. Now this one's got a little more nickel and some zinc. This one looks a little bit whiter. I like that one too. And yeah, these are all coming out pretty well. This one's nickel and zinc. And this one almost came out silver. Uh, nice touch. And the last one, this one's the aluminum bronze. I expect this to be pretty hard. And it's got a nice golden color to it. So now the colors are probably hard to make out on camera, uh, but this over here is definitely the whitest of all the metals, and it's got the highest nickel content. Um, nickel uh, seems to have a very whitening effect. Um, and then some of these other ones, um, this one is probably the um, darkest and the most coppery, 
Um, it also has the least amount of alloying stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I, st I still like that, that color. Um, I'll probably play around with some variations of these, you know, try to get, to get um, the best color I can. Well, that sure was an interesting experiment. I can't wait to start making stuff out of these. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching.